Hi, my name is David Rodwin, and this is The Life. This past week, the Senate failed to pass any kind of gun control legislation. And not only does that show the failure that the Senate is and the gridlock that exists in Congress, but it should teach a lesson to Democrats. And while I'm registered as an unaffiliated voter, I'm an independent, I still often side with many of the Democratic leanings. However, the Democrats have to learn from the Republicans that you need to ask for extraordinary things and then maybe you'll get something. Instead, the Democrats ask ask for the smallest things, 30 round clips reduced to 10 round clips, and background checks on everyone. That is asking for so little. However, the conservatives go to the radio airwaves saying Democrats want to take our guns away, and Democrats defend themselves saying no, 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 we don't want to take your guns away, we just want a few small concessions. Bullshit. 300 million guns in this country is far, far too many. We need to take people's guns away if this is going to become a safer country. 300 million should be reduced to something like 30 million. You think it's impossible for gun buybacks to ever happen? You're wrong. Check out this amazing report that John Oliver did for The Daily Show just this week. In 1996, following a massacre, Australia's conservative government enforced a national buyback of semi-automatic weapons, while also heavily regulating the purchase and storage of other firearms. The result was dramatically reduced levels of gun violence. So why can't we do that here? The NRA is still a very powerful force in this country. They have four million members who are very, very determined to get their way. And how can a nation of 300 million compete with that? The bigger problem is not even the NRA, it's those who are fighting the NRA. It's those who are looking to actually create some change around gun control in this country. Part of that reason is because they keep on caving in before the fight actually happens. So the next time a conservative asks me, do I want to take away the guns from every American? The answer is yes, unequivocally, 90% of them at least. If you live in the country, you should be allowed to have a shotgun. If you live in the city, you don't get to carry a firearm unless you're a law enforcement officer. It should be that freaking simple. And for those who claim they have a right because it's guaranteed to them in the Constitution to carry their own semi-automatic weapon, you don't. The Second Amendment guarantees the right to bear arms for a well-regulated militia. Unless you're in a well-regulated militia, you have no right to bear any kind of arms based on the Second Amendment or anything in the Constitution. My name's David Rodwin, and this was some good old epic bullshit.